Hi, my name is Jenny. I'm with Allied Arts Gallery at the Park. With me today is Felicia. Hello. We're going to be doing this fun program today. They're called Allied Art Bites. We're going to be um, creating little sacks of random materials and you'll come and pick them up and then everybody gets a blank playing card and you take the materials and you can glue them on, paint, whatever supplies you have at home. And I'm excited to see what you're gonna do today. We're just gonna kind of make one, see what's in the bags. Sound good? All right. I'm excited to see what goodies. And I don't, I didn't pack the bags. I'm, this is all It's new. a surprise. <laughs> yeah, it's yes. a surprise. <laughs> on. And so this is the card that is painted on both sides. That's, that'll be nice too. Yeah. On. Yeah, so we're just going to create and play around, I think. And I, I'll i show you what I have in my bag. There's a little piece of foam. Um, do you know what these are? What? It's actually drywall tape. All yeah. right, so yeah. drywall tape. We can do some uh, drywall <laughs> uh, tissue tape. I'll just keep that for good. Okay, so I have some little, it looks kind of like scrapbooking supplies. These are little sunglasses I might have to share with you. Yeah, I I, you. I got a doily too. Oh, the same one. Oh, let's have a doily off. I got glitter glue, lots of ribbon. Uh, let's see. So there really are no rules with this. So if you don't want to use something that's in the bag, that's all right too. Ooh, I got this really fancy puncher, a stamp thing. I'm excited. Washi tape with little puppies on it and an oil pastel. All right, well, let's get started. So you can, if you have a pair of scissors at home, that would be great. If you have paint, anything kind of lying about, anything to make a mark or a dot. What's this? You know what? This is leftover makeup, which you can use as a pigment and kind of smear around. So using everyday Excellent. objects you wouldn't even think about, like this is an old sponge yeah. and you could kind of smear some paint or a stat pad Excellent. on it. Oh yeah, that's this a makeup, makeup sponge. Yeah. yeah, that you could kind of dip if you don't have any paintbrushes or anything you just squirt a little bit of paint on there Perfect. just a little bit of paint down there and then i'm going to lay down that textured tape ta-da and can you see how it makes a cool design That's like that isn't that fun it. yeah awesome well, i'm copying you a little bit with that same oh i tape. love your technique and i took your eyeshadow idea and then patting it in there. And I guess I could use the makeup brush, but we can get a little messy. It's fun to get messy. We really want a photo of you holding it, and we want you to hashtag or share to our Facebook page at hashtag Allied Art Bites, or visit our website at www.galleryatthepark.org because we want to show off your awesome creativity. There really isn't a deadline for this. You can kind of Submit it when you can, but it helps to show off in your awesome creativity and what you can do with it. Because everybody's is going to look completely different. Because everybody's got different art supplies. Has. Well, and I think it's a fun challenge to try to figure out what to do with some of these things. Absolutely, because they're very <laughs> random. They like, are. there's no, <laughs> no right or wrong. And I thing is once one side dries and you can flip to the other other side and oh, yay. <laughs> yay. so mine's a little bit more like bluish um, but also has the yellow so it's playing with some warm colors and cool colors for you guys so your art terms do you know which colors are warm colors and cool colors yes uh, yeah Red, so warm colors i don't have a color wheel but warm colors are red, yellow, orange when you think of the sun, right. and cool colors are more when you think of ice and water, so your purples, your blues, um, and even this gray and green could be considered a cool color. To be honest, Felicia is basically my inspiration for this whole project oh. because she started at the beginning of this um, an artist trading card yeah. art project. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and how many people did you get involved in that? Oh man, I, well, we had like 11 or 12 that ended up doing it. It might have been more. Yeah, it was fantastic. They're like, yeah, they're called was, artist yeah. trading cards? Yeah, ATCs for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. And I know that um, a few of my friends participated. It oh, really cool. gave them something to do and look forward to. Yeah, because sometimes when um, 
you know, there's big changes, you, you feel like you've lost your footing. And to have something to focus in on that's positive, and the fact that you get to trade them, it brings people joy, so. Well, yeah. it was a lot of fun because um, there were artists from Washington, but also artists from Wyoming and all over the US that joined in. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, yeah. Okay, so now we're at this doily, and Felicia has a doily too. Do you have any ideas on what we're gonna do with this? What? I was thinking using it similar to the drywall paper and either making a stamp out of it or... Ooh, a stamp. That's a really good idea. Sort of yeah. On. So I'm gonna take some paint and kind of play around actually on this good. How about that? I like how we both have the same items and yet it's gonna be so different. Yeah, absolutely. What else could we do with buttons, you think? It could be fun if we have string <gasps> to tie them. That's a good idea. Hang them with it. Ooh, that's a really good idea. Um, what if I kind of drag this? Oh, this would thing. actually work. Oh, look at I that string. I really <laughs> like that string. That's so we fun. could hang it. Yeah, I think I might do that. Okay, this button. Where? You just kind of have to move it around and fig. Well, that's easy enough. Ta-da! That's where this button's going to live. There we go. What do you think? I love it. I like the green color. That's nice. Yeah. Normally, I don't really use green too much unless I'm painting um, a tree or leaves. <laughs> but it's not the color that I usually gravitate toward. But now that teal's involved, I guess. It's green is blue, right? Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. What do you think? Well, and for, so those of you at home, so you know, uh, there's been a lot of effort taken to keep you guys safe. Um, we are standing apart as much as possible. Right. Um, we had masks on before all of the filming. Yes. Um, but you can't hear us if we keep them on for the whole part. Um, also, would you tell them the process of filling the bags? It sounds like you guys did a lot. Yeah, we took extreme measures. Like we had gloves on, masks on the whole entire time. We got the materials. We actually let all of the materials sit for 14 days just wow. to make sure yeah. um, they were sanitized. They didn't have any issues and then we had uh, gloves and masks on the entire entire time we were filling them she see. has a paper plate she kind of it's kind of like a stamp pad with the paint Ooh, so that's let's cool. see i love that texture if we can get it yeah so maybe i'll use it just as a stamp instead of trying to get the pattern I'm not sure We'll see, it's all about experimenting. Actually, I think I like it better with the paint on it. On the doily. Yeah. yeah it's really good. And so I'm just rubbing off the excess paint. I think. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna get that more. Looks fantastic. That's fantastic. I really like that. <laughs> that's really great. So we'll get the paint off of it. And maybe not the yellow, we'll see. It, it's all play right now. Right, absolutely. I think whenever Next you. Thing. Oh, go ahead. You yeah. can always just dry it and do something else with it, right? Absolutely. And whenever you have stuff you haven't worked with, I think you have to play with it. Because otherwise, I was telling my niece one time, we were uh, doing a wreck this journal with, and one of the pages said draw with glue. And I remember she's like, I don't know how to draw with glue. And I'm like, nobody does. Nobody does. That's, we're just going to play. We're going to do it and see what we get. And I, I think she really learned to just kind of be free and play with her art. Right? I really like those breakfast journals because yes. there's so much you can do. Um, give away, uh, what did they, oh, it's stickers, mm -hmm. fruit stickers. Yes. Collect all of them over a period of time. I think that's so fun. And I always stick fruit stickers on something, <laughs> and so my husband gets mad at me. And so it was great to have <laughs> a paper for them. It's fun to play. My kids, um, I think it's funnier than they probably think it is, but I hide googly I like eyes them. all over the house. And have them have them find them in random cupboards <laughs> or in the fridge. I just randomly stick an eye. Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah, goofball mom art teacher.
<laughs> so. A googly eye? A googly yeah. eye? I'll just keep that have? for good. Okay, so 